everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the module 4 of dip in which we'll be discussing four questions uh, regarding the module 4 let's have a look at what are the key points and what are the diagrams you need to make so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's get started the first question uh, and you can download this document the link is in the description box so uh, the first question is discuss the procedure of obtaining segmented regions using split and merge strategy with example here you have to obtain the segmented regions uh, procedure by using the split and merge strategy this is called a strategy where you are splitting and merging and you have to use an example as well so it starts from here uh, the starting is from what the approach is about and then we'll be having the representations of the regions and uh, we'll be having the diagrams of the partition image and the quad tree you have to draw this much this forms the first part then you will be diving deep into the merging and splitting what is splitting you'll be writing here and what is merging and you'll have to write the three step procedure followed in uh, splitting and merging and that uh, marks the end of this question in the same way we have the second question explain the technique for detecting three basic type of gray level discontinuities in a digital image the gray level discontinuities or any kind of uh, discontinuities is detected by the edge detection it is one of the most common approach for detection and discontinuity, uh, discontinuity in an image uh, in an image okay so that is what is called the uh, edge detection inside that we will be using the first and second order derivative that's the important key point and this you have to drop which is the perfectly cut image and this is a partially cut image okay so this is called as gray level so it detects this gray level and uh, find out the discontinuities in the image uh, such as blurred edges and all and you have to write something about the first and second derivative apps, uh, as well okay Moving on, we have the third question, which is explain global processing where, where, uh, where the uh, hug transform. In the hug transform, we'll be having uh, endpoints in an image that we have to process. So this is the formula which we'll be using these two formulas and we'll be considering this equation of the line y is equal to x plus b by using the different intercept values. And uh, you have to draw this diagram as well for the representation purpose of uh, how you'll be using the uh, hug transform. And this is the subdivision of the parameters. Uh, more information is also there. You can uh, download the TIEs notes in that it is present. You can um, go through that. More important questions are there as well. Uh, moving on to the fourth question, we have defined local and global threshold. What is how the point detection algorithm works? So this is the global uh, threshold and local threshold. By using these two, will be uh, uh, the point detection algorithm will work. So what is global thresholding? Thresholding means uh, setting a minimum limit. In global uh, scale, we will be setting a uh, limit that is called as global thresholding. And if it's done in local, it is called as local thresholding. And these are the key points of right. The algorithm is also present here. That is the algorithm for the point detection. And these uh, illustrations is given and for the local local thresholding also you'll be doing the same thing just you will be having an image or a localized thing in that which you will be uh, doing the following things and the advantages are written okay that's all make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one